What did I do? <laughs> we all know how beautiful War Thunder can look, and we also know that you need a pretty beefy hardware to run in at max settings. So today's video is for the people who don't really have the latest greatest or just using a low-end laptop. The following options and modifications will help you improve your gaming performance massively on any hardware. The first step, also the easiest step, is just lowering the graphical settings in the launcher. There is a separate draw for it, just click on min, press ok and this should automatically assign the lowest possible settings for your game. If you set everything correctly, your game should look something like this. And honestly, I think it doesn't look bad enough. We can make it worse. So War Thunder stores all of its settings inside a config file that's uh, located in the folder you installed War Thunder in. You can open that folder by right-clicking to War Thunder and open file location and inside that folder you can see the config.blk file. Open that with the notepad or notepad++ and edit the following lines. Here we can set the resolution for the game, I think uh, HD resolution is good, so just copy that or if you don't want to go lower than full HD, you can keep it as it is. Then just hit save and exit. After you modify the file, right click it, properties and set it to read only, otherwise the launcher will override every change you made, because you are not supposed to make these changes. If you look closely, you might be able to spot the difference, but um, let me help you. The right one is the one we just made, and the left one is the original. Pretty wild, huh? Right now, uh, the game kinda looks like a PS1 game, but what if I told you there is a way you can make it even worse looking? Okay, well, um, as it turns out, uh, modifying some uh, graphics driver will lead to um, you rendering under the ground and uh, textures disappearing entirely from tanks uh, flame effects look like straight from minecraft um, yeah it's it's pretty crazy you might be wondering right now if this works in a random battle as well and uh, yes it does sadly it does and um, this is the reason why I won't be showing you guys how to do it. I really don't want none of you get banned because of this. I hope I won't get banned because of this. My original purpose for this video was to find out how low you can set the settings. But as it turns out, you can basically set it so low that the game renders the ground above you. And yes, you can see enemies behind hills with this. 
in conclusion i hope you manage to achieve higher fps or better performance overall than you had before using my settings i hope um, this guide was helpful for you all and um, yeah thanks for watching peace